In 2026, the world of electric cars is about to be blown away. And that's no exaggeration. Tesla has just launched a revolution that seems straight out of a science fiction movie. The Model 2, its most affordable model to date, is being produced in an unbelievable 4.5 seconds per unit. That's right. While you finish reading this sentence, another car has already rolled off the line. The speed is so absurd that even the eyes can't keep up. And we're not talking about prototypes or far-fetched ideas, but a real factory that is already operating at this pace. The question that remains is, how is this possible? The answer begins at Giga Texas, the beating heart of this new automotive era. Unlike any other car manufacturer, there are almost no people working on the assembly line. Gigantic robotic arms, autonomous systems, and a mechanical choreography so precise it seems rehearsed for years dominate the scene. The ground vibrates with constant energy, and the cars appear with such speed they seem to have been teleported. The frenetic pace is sustained 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without pauses, without respite, as if Tesla itself had hacked time. The Model 2 was designed to be simple, efficient, and mass-produced like no other electric car. But simplicity here doesn't mean a lack of innovation. On the contrary, every aspect of the vehicle was designed to optimize manufacturing time and cost, from the unibody structure to the integration of the battery as part of the chassis. This new manufacturing model tears up the old industry manuals and rewrites the rules with a single stroke. Fewer parts, fewer steps, less error. Tesla not only reduced the number of components, but also drastically decreased the number of manual processes. One of the key elements for this magic to happen is the design philosophy integrated with engineering. Every part of the car was rethought to fit perfectly into the logic of ultra-fast production. Everything that could be fused together was fused. What could be eliminated was cut. What could be automated was handed over to robots. And this wasn't done hastily or haphazardly. Every decision was made with surgical precision to achieve the goal that Elon Musk had been talking about for years, creating the ultimate electric car for the masses. With the goal of producing millions of units per year, Tesla couldn't rely on slow, human-crowded production lines. That's why Giga Texas was designed from the outset as a factory of the future. Inside, the noise of the machines is muffled by acoustic panels, the lighting is planned so as not to interfere with the robot's sensors, and even the movement of materials is done by autonomous vehicles. It's no exaggeration to say that this factory looks more like a space laboratory than a car assembly plant. And don't think that this obsession with speed compromises quality. On the contrary, the uniformity of automated processes drastically reduces manufacturing errors. Each Model 2 that comes off the line is virtually identical to the previous one, with a microscopic margin of error. This means less rework, less waste, and more confidence in the final product. A car made in 4.5 seconds can indeed be more reliable than one made in 4 hours, and Tesla is proving this with numbers. Now, if there's one piece of gear that truly transformed all this madness into reality, it's the Giga Press. This machine isn't just a giant piece of iron spitting out molten aluminum. It is, without exaggeration, the heart that pumps the efficiency of this entire operation. The new generation of the Giga Press can mold up to five complete chassis at once, like a toy mold, but on an industrial scale. Before, dozens of parts needed to be welded with millimeter precision. Now, everything comes out at once as a single block, drastically reducing time, cost, and potential points of failure. What was once a puzzle of hundreds of pieces and welds has become almost an aluminum sculpture made in a single movement. The rear structure, which used to require more than 400 welds, has been replaced by a single casting. This not only improves the car's rigidity, but also eliminates an absurd number of robots from the process. Around 450 machines were removed from the assembly line just with this innovation. And between us, 
fewer robots working also means less maintenance, less wasted energy, and fewer chances of something going wrong during the process. This change may seem subtle to those who only see the finished car, but the impact behind it is monumental. It's as if Tesla condensed a week's work into a single machine stroke. And all this thanks to the colossal force of the Gigapress, capable of exerting up to 50,000 tons of pressure on a mold. The sound it makes when it goes into action is almost like the roar of thunder, fast, brutal, and precise. And when it opens, it reveals something that seems to have been sculpted by a supernatural entity. The car's skeleton, smooth, perfect, and ready for the next stage. Oh, and there's more. This efficiency doesn't just come from strength. The speed of the process is also impressive. The aluminum is injected into the mold in about two seconds, and in another three, it's already cooled and being removed by robotic arms. There's no pause. There's no room for error. It's a choreography of precision that seems like magic, but it's pure engineering, the kind that's a pleasure to watch. All this while, the line keeps spinning, non-stop, without breathing, spitting out cars like a 3D printer in turbo mode. And it doesn't stop there. The choice of aluminum as the main material also has its advantages. Besides being lighter than steel, it allows for the creation of more rigid structures with fewer welding points. In electric cars, where every kilogram counts, this translates into greater range and better performance. It's like giving the car the body of an athlete, light, resistant, and ready to run long distances without tiring. A brilliant idea that combines cutting-edge engineering with energy intelligence. Another interesting point, and one that few people notice, is the visual impact. When you see a Model 2 from underneath, it doesn't look like a conventional car. The joints, the seams, the fittings, they're almost non-existent. Everything looks sculpted straight from the mold, as if the car was born that way. This gives it a cleaner, more modern aesthetic, but mainly it facilitates inspections, maintenance, and even future recycling. In other words, the design isn't just for show. It also serves to make the car's lifespan more efficient. With this solid foundation built on aluminum and efficiency, Tesla's next step was to design a car that truly made sense for the real world, an affordable, functional vehicle ideal for cities. That's where the Model 2 comes in, the urban compact that promises to be a game changer in electric mobility. It's not here to compete with the Model 3 or the Y. It's here to open a new battleground, that of the average consumer, the one who never imagined having a Tesla in their garage. And now, in 2026, that's about to change completely. The Model 2 was designed like an electric origami, small on the outside, intelligent on the inside. With a streamlined design, simple lines, and a minimalist approach, it eliminates everything considered superfluous. No heated seats, premium sound system, or panoramic sunroof. The focus is on delivering the essentials, but with quality. And that's not a flaw, it's a strategy. After all, every detail removed is a cost reduction in the production line and one less obstacle when scaling manufacturing globally. It's a car that doesn't aim to impress with ostentation, but with intelligence. The seats are fabric, the sound insulation is minimal, and the windows are simple, no frills. But even so, it keeps Tesla's technological heart beating strongly. The Model 2 will come equipped with all the necessary hardware for fully autonomous driving. Yes, even an entry-level Tesla car will be ready to operate as a robot taxi in the future, as long as regulations allow it. This completely changes the game because we're talking about an urban vehicle with the potential to be 100% autonomous. The body, made with the new Gigapress, gives the car a clean look, without visible seams, and with optimized aerodynamics. The hood is short, the front and rear overhangs are minimal, and there is almost no traditional trunk. Everything was done to maximize interior space and reduce material waste. It's as if the Model 2 was designed from the inside out, 
prioritizing the intelligent use of space instead of the exaggerated aesthetics that many automakers still insist on displaying. This choice for a functional design also makes sense when considering the target audience. The Model 2 isn't for those seeking status, but rather efficient mobility with real cost effectiveness. Elon Musk understood that the future of electric vehicles isn't in luxury cars, but in the millions of people who still drive combustion engine vehicles because they lack affordable options. And Tesla, with this model, offers a clear and direct answer. It's possible to have a complete, modern, and safe electric vehicle without breaking the bank. And speaking of price, the estimate ranges between use $20,000 and use $30,000 which puts the Model 2 in a price range that no other Tesla has ever reached. And that's not just a nice number. It symbolizes a turning point. If electric vehicles were once exclusive to niche markets, now they are being placed at the center of the game. Tesla is literally opening the doors for millions of new drivers to enter this universe, and doing so on a large scale with speed and planning. While the Model 2 attempts to conquer the streets with an affordable price and insane production, Tesla is preparing another masterstroke that seems to have come straight out of a futuristic movie, Optimus Gen 3, the brand's fully autonomous humanoid robot. Forget everything you've ever seen about slow, clumsy, and limited robots. This new model, expected to arrive in 2026, moves with the fluidity of a human being has complex hands with surgical dexterity, and can perform more than 4,000 different tasks. And the most astonishing thing is that it learns on its own by watching videos. We're not talking about a laboratory toy. Optimus Gen 3 can work for 10 hours straight without rest, thanks to the new 4680 batteries, the same ones used in Tesla's most advanced cars. When the charge is low, it walks itself to the charger, connects, and starts working again without any human intervention. That's real autonomy. And this autonomy, combined with the embedded AI, puts Optimus on another level, that of a functional companion to humans, not just a tool. The AI that controls this robot is based on the same architecture as the autopilot system in Tesla cars. In other words, it can understand three-dimensional environments, identify objects, predict movements, and even adapt to new tasks without needing prior programming. If you show it a video teaching how to fry an egg, it observes, understands the gestures, learns, and repeats. This isn't just artificial intelligence, it's observational learning, a dramatic leap compared to what robots have done until now. Optimus Gen 3's body has also been completely redesigned to look more and more human. Its movements are smooth and natural, and its balance is so good that it can walk, run, climb stairs, and even bend down to pick up objects without looking like it's going to fall. Its appearance remains slightly mechanical. After all, it's not a toy, but the fluidity of its gestures is easily deceiving. Some people, upon seeing it for the first time, think there's a person in a costume inside. Now, what's most surprising is the real-world usefulness of this robot in everyday life. It's not just being developed to showcase technology. Tesla's goal is for Optimus Gen 3 to work at home, in factories, hospitals, restaurants, and even in delicate operations like surgery. And with an estimated productivity five times that, of an average human. It doesn't just replace repetitive tasks. It elevates efficiency to a new level. Elon Musk made it very clear. The goal is for the robot to be able to do everything you do at home, but without complaining and without taking a break. Another point that draws attention is the psychological impact this robot has. Seeing a machine interacting with precision and gentleness is something that messes with your head. The expressions are limited, of course, but the way Optimus approaches, delivers objects, avoids obstacles, and responds to voice commands creates a strange effect, a mixture of admiration and slight unease. It seems like a fictional character invading our reality, 
but in a surprisingly natural way. Musk has already stated that, with the advancement of future updates, Optimus will be able to perform simultaneous tasks, interact with multiple environments, and even adapt emotionally to the user's profile. Does that sound exaggerated? Perhaps. But if you stop to think about it, 10 years ago, nobody thought they would see a car produced in less than five seconds. And now it's already here. So why not a robot that understands you and even washes the dishes? With a robot that learns on its own, recharges automatically, and performs complex tasks with precision, it was only a matter of time before Tesla started talking about Optimus's real impact on society. And now, in 2026, that's becoming quite clear. The plan isn't just to put a robot in your home, but to change the way the world works. Optimus Gen 3 is already being prepared to work in restaurants, hospitals, factories, and even as an assistant in surgeries. Not as a distant assistant, but as a direct, present, reliable collaborator and, most frighteningly of all, more efficient than us. At home, it can take care of everyday tasks. Cleaning, cooking, organizing, doing laundry, opening the door for the delivery person, and even checking what's missing from the refrigerator. And when it comes to repetitive tasks, it's unbeatable. It doesn't get tired, doesn't complain, and doesn't forget anything. Imagine coming home from work, and the house is already clean, dinner is ready, and the dishes are washed. Without you lifting a finger, it sounds like an exaggeration, but that's exactly the kind of home use Tesla is projecting for the coming months. Now, it's leaving the domestic environment and entering the commercial one. A restaurant, for example, could replace four employees with four robots, one serving customers, another cooking, a third delivering dishes, and a fourth cleaning everything. With an estimated cost of $2,000 per month, a single Optimus robot can pay for itself in less than a year. And the most interesting part? After that, it starts generating profit. It's the birth of a new business model where robots become passive income assets. And we're not just talking about restaurants. Tesla wants Optimus to be used in hospitals, caring for elderly patients, monitoring vital signs, assisting with mobility, serving meals, and even administering medication with precision. Imagine the impact this would have in countries with aging populations and overburdened healthcare systems. The robot could be a game changer, not only for cost savings, but also for providing continuous care without errors due to fatigue or distraction. Of course, this raises many questions. The main one is, what about jobs? Elon Musk doesn't shy away from the answer. According to him, the arrival of Optimus will indeed replace certain functions, but at the same time, it will create new opportunities in areas such as maintenance, programming, robot coordination, and even fleet management. Human work will migrate to more creative, analytical, and emotional tasks, those that a machine cannot yet replicate, at least for now. Another interesting aspect is the concept of income-generating robots. 